Hey guys, it's Nikia Joy here, and today on the Maybelline Makeup Loft, we're going to be creating a super glowy bronze sort of makeup look. Perfect for summer. Um, it's also going to be really long lasting, so you're not going to have to worry about your makeup melting off during the day. So yes, if you're interested in watching that, then stick around. All right, so first we're going to prep the skin, and obviously we want to go with like a really glowy sort of hydrated sort of a look. Um, to get that, I'm going to be using this illuminating primer. This is the Face Studio Prime. Um, this is their illuminating version. This one has actually got micro pearls in it, which is pretty cool and I like it because it gives the skin that like glowy dewy illuminated look but without you know impacting on how well your makeup lasts so I'm just going to apply this one all over my face try not to rub the skin too much you really do want to press your primers in all right so for foundation I'm going to be using the brand new super stay foundation sticks I have been really, really enjoying these. These do come in eight shades. Um, they're brand new and they are available in stores now. So these ones are a cream to matte formula. It's like a little twist up foundation stick. And then on the other end, oh, there is a little blending sponge. So you can use that to touch up on the go. Um, yeah, really, really nice formula. It looks so nice on the skin and also really long lasting too. So I'm going to be applying, I'm going to use two shades actually because I do want to look super bronze today. So I'm going to use the shade... This is number 130 Buff Beige. And I'm pretty much going to use that all over my face. And then I'm going to take shade 312 Golden, like I said. And I'm going to use that sort of in the areas where I do a little bit of bronzing and contouring. And it'll just give my face a really nice dimension to it. So sort of like hollows of my cheeks here, underneath around my jaw and also around my hairline. And then it's pretty much as easy as blending. You can use a brush, you can use a sponge, but you wanna blend all of that into the skin. Now, like I said, it is a matte finish formula, but because we've applied that illuminating primer underneath, the skin will still have a really nice glow to it. All right, so my foundation is on. I'm gonna move on to concealer now, and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. You guys already know how much I love this one. It is such an amazing concealer, especially for the under eye area. Doesn't crease, oh, so good. And I'm going to place this one underneath my eyes and also down sort of the center of my face. Um, I want to be like soft and glowing, but I don't want any of these under eye circles showing through or any redness during the day. And then you pretty much just blend it out again. It's very easy. I'm also using a shade that's sort of slightly lighter than my foundation shade because that's going to help highlight these areas and hopefully make me look more awake. <laughs> now to keep everything locked in place and you know where I want it to stay all day long, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is one of my holy, holy grail setting powders. It is incredible. I mean, you're about to see the difference it makes to my skin. I'm actually picking a little of that up just on the same sponge that I blended out the foundation and concealer. And I'm going to start pressing it underneath the eyes. Oh just makes your skin look so smooth and it really locks your makeup in. All right, so before we move on to really bronzing up and glowing up the skin, I'm gonna be using the Master Brow Pro Palette. Yes, I said it right. I always say Master Bro. I don't know, it's funny. <laughs> this one's a little eyebrow palette. It does have three separate shades and a wax in there. It's really quick and simple to fill your brows in with. So just using a flat brush, I'm gonna fill these in. I probably will go for something more sort of natural with the brow today. Normally when I'm doing like a summery glowy kind of a makeup look, I do like to keep the brows a little bit more natural. But in saying that, sometimes I say I'm gonna do natural brows and then something else happens and yeah, it gets weird. <laughs> and then to set, I'm gonna use the Brow Precise Gel. This one has got little fibers in it. So it helps your brows look super fluffy. And it also holds them in place. I mean, look at the difference. This brow like looks actually hairy. <laughs> All right, to really, really bronze up my face and also my eyes, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I'm, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline City Bronzer. This is actually a contour and bronzer powder sort of all rolled into one. So taking a little contouring brush, I'm going to start working this into the areas of my cheeks, sort of where I like to contour. And basically we don't want a really precise contour. We want a really blown out, sort of buffed out effect. Buffing it up through my hairline. I really want to look like super, super sun-kissed. And we're gonna go a little bit under the jawline here as well, just to add a little bit more dimension. And hopefully you can see already the difference between this side and this side. I'm not actually gonna be using any eyeshadows. I'm just gonna use the same bronzer on a blending brush. And I'm pretty much just gonna sweep that one through the crease of my eyes and then sort of buffing it out towards the outer corner and a little bit upwards towards the brow bone. And it'll add a really nice 
soft natural kind of contour to the eye without you looking like you're wearing an eyeshadow necessarily. Now before we go in with highlighter, I'm going to add a little bit of color to my cheeks. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade, well it's number 40, but the shade name is Peach. And I'm just going to sweep a little of this one, kind of crossing it over the bronzer that we've applied a little. I just want to add a tiny little bit of color to my cheeks. All right, moving on to highlighter, everybody's favorite part. I'm so excited about this one. So this is the Maybelline Master Chrome and this is one of their new releases as well. Again, all of this is available in store now. But they've just released the Rose Gold shade. You guys know how obsessed I was with the gold one. Yeah, this one is trying to take the gold one down for first place because I'm not kidding, it's beautiful. All right, picking that up on a highlighting brush. I mean, you're, you're about to witness this firsthand. Look at that. Look at my skin. <laughs> it's so good. And we want to look super, super glowy today. So I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. I'm going to do the tip of my nose and also the bridge just a little bit in there. My cupid's bow. Also a little bit above my brows. And then switching to a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to do my brow bone and also the inner corners of my eyes. And then to finish, we just have lashes and lips. So on my lashes, I'm going to use the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. For summer, you want something smudge proof, and this is it. So I'm going to apply a couple of coats of this, and then I might even pop some falsies on, because you know I love my glam. So I'm going to be using one of the Color Drama Lip Pencils. This is the shade Minimalist. This is like a hybrid between a lip pencil and a lipstick, and they're really, really long lasting. I want the lips to sort of look a little bit lived in, um, not too precise. So I'm going to be smudging this over the lips. And then pretty much what I'm going to do here is actually rub that in. Because like I said, I want them to look a little lived in. And here is the final look. Super bronzed, super glowing, um, you know, perfect for summer. Like I said, I mean, it's perfect for any season, but really also long lasting and that will actually stay in place all day. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below. To be completely honest, I can't stop staring at this highlighter. The new rose gold one, guys, in stores now. I would be running to get it. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me here today. I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you back here on the Makeup Loft channel very, very soon.